Welcome to Art Bites, Short Encounters with the Collection of the Mariana Kistler Beach Museum of Art. I'm Catherine Slogic. I'm the Associate Curator of Education at the museum. And today I'd like to share my love of children's book illustrations with you. The two prints featured are by Nora, or Nora Woodson Ulrich, who was a children's book illustrator. Nora Woodson was born in Kansas City in 1899. She studied at the Kansas City Art Institute, the Chicago Academy of Fine Arts, and the Art Students League in New York City. She also traveled to Vienna and then settled for a while to study in Paris, where she exhibited wildly, and also settled on her subject matter of children. Her name, Nora, comes from her husband, Edward Buck Ulrich. He had also lived in Kansas City, but they did not meet until they were in Chicago when she was studying. Um, he never called anybody by their regular name, and so he started to call her Nora. Um, he served during World War I, and it was after World War I that they were married. Um, and then they were based in New York City. But they would make regular junkets around the country, um, sharing their artwork. They really felt that that was something that was important. And they would go to visit Kansas City, they'd go to California, and even to the Southwest. Um, Buck was a muralist. And you can see one of his murals, the Wild West, which is at Radio City Music Hall and was created in 1932. Um, they sometimes worked together and would sign their work, Buck and Nora, as you can see on the Christmas card towards the right. Um, the Western theme in Buck's work came from the fact that he had worked as a cowboy in Arizona on an Apache reservation. There is some evidence that Nora had some health issues and that she might have been a Christian scientist. In 1927, she and Buck wrote an article on health issues um, that they had researched at the Christian Science Reading Room. She died in 1950 in New Rochelle, New York, and is buried, but is buried in Kansas City. Buck moves to California after her death and dies in 1966. Nora was a printmaker as well as painter and also worked in ceramics. She was an artist featured by the Associated American Artists, a group that um, marketed the work of many, many artists from 1934 on through 2000. Um, Seven Seas was one of three ceramic pieces that she created for them through Stoneland Pottery. She had several prints that were, folk, were featured as gift prints by the Associated American Artist and was also featured in a Christmas card collection in the early 1940s. But it's her children's books that she's really known for. Um, she published at least eight. Um, she actually created the books herself. She chose the paper, she made the plates, and supervised the printing and binding. And then the books were distributed by known publishers. One of the books was called Stories By, and it just had pictures with no words. And then children were supposed to fill in um, the story for each of the illustrations. Despite the title, Nora's Children Go Visiting, she and Buck never had children. She felt that having a real child would engross her to the point that she could not paint imaginary ones. So she drew the topics for some of her books from her own Kansas City childhood. One of these, The Buttermilk Tree, which was her second book, is featured in the black and white print at the top right. This was about her sister who loved buttermilk so much that her family would joke about planting a buttermilk tree for her. Other of her stories are kind of quirky. Garden of Betty and Booth talks about a little girl named Betty and her shadow named Booth and how Betty learns from her shadow. All aboard, we are off. Um, features children going to imaginary lands to learn about moderation. There's several things to think about stylistically when we look at Nora's work. First, both children and animals have enlarged heads. Second, the shapes are smooth and rounded and the outline is um, filled with rather abstract space with a lack of details. 
And finally, there is often a swirl that carries through the image and unites the figures. In this print, the cat's tail seems to go into the blanket underneath the dog and pulls all of the um, creatures together. In this print, the black background flows into the quilt underneath the child in the front, again, unifying the two figures. Considering she never had children, I have to wonder if Nora was a bit of a Peter Pan. She said, childhood is a state of being. Children express it. They do not possess it. It is intact when they enter it and intact when they leave it. It is not confined to flesh and blood children. Whatever invokes within us gentleness, tenderness, or a desire to laugh and cry is surely imbued with the childhood spirit. The little figures in my work are offered merely as symbols of the universally beloved state of being called a childhood. Thank you so much for joining me.